Hi, I'm James. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys my top five most comfortable Nikes video uh, by popular request. So shout out to you guys requesting the videos. If you guys didn't see that Crew Kicks uh, Vlog 503 video, it was pretty funny. It was cool to meet the dudes, uh, Kais and some of the other guys uh, out in Portland. And uh, I'll actually show you guys a little bit of the footage uh, like right here that I recorded just when I met them up. Um, and we uh, went to the Adidas employee store and stuff. It was pretty fun. And they were here for a really limited amount of time, so it was really cool that I got a link uh, for the short amount of time that they were in town. Hopefully we'll get a link up again soon. But let's go ahead and get into the video. This is my top five Tuesday video, and every Tuesday I'll bring you guys a top five video. This week by request is my top five favorite Nikes, or the most comfortable Nike, should I say. And it all just happens to be the Nike runners in particular, so no basketball or anything like that. Um, hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit the thumbs up button, show you guys the support. And if you guys have suggestions for next week's top five Tuesday video, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys would like to see. So uh, top five most comfortable um, Nikes in my collection or just in general that I know of. These are my uh, top fives. I know it's not going to match your guys' list. So you can also weigh in in the comment sections. Let other people know what other Nikes that you have that are really comfortable. Uh, I always like to see this. Actually, I reached out to you guys on Twitter. And shout out to everybody that actually replied back on Twitter and let me know what their most comfortable pairs of sneakers were. It's kind of cool to see. And a lot of them kind of were in line with what I uh, chose here. So first things first, well, there's two runner-ups uh, that didn't make the top five, but definitely noteworthy. One is the Flyknit Racer. Some people are going to be like, I can't believe this isn't in the list. But this shoe is great. It's very, very lightweight. It's very breathable. It's a great summer uh, runner. But it is extremely narrow. So for my foot, th these ones are not in the top five. Um, these ones are, um, I would say you go half a size up so i'm a size nine and a half i usually if you go to 10 it fits a little bit better uh personally that's just the way i go with these things and that is one of them and then the other one is a uh free nike free and this is the flying it version 4.0 i believe um these ones are really really comfortable as well but just not my top five favorites i've never been a huge fan of the nike freeze but th these ones were really really nice and really comfortable uh, and this is the flying it version so that being said let's go ahead and get into the top five all right, so number five is the Nike Air Presto, and you can see I have a couple different versions. Um, this this is just one of the, the ones that they retro uh, from the beginning of the year, the Lightning colorway. And then this is a custom I did. I did a tutorial on this where I removed the cage on the Presto. Really quite comfortable without the cage, I have to say. And then not a Presto, but so, somewhat in the same family is the Sock Dart. And I actually have a cage removal video coming of this, just a heads up later in this week. Uh, but this shoe is a really comfortable shoe. It's really lightweight. The fit for these were really weird when they came out. They were like small, medium, and large. So I know I was a small and I'm a size 9, 9.5. Small is a 9 to 10 uh, and so on. But nowadays it seems like they're actually releasing these with normal sizes. So I would go true size 9.5 for me. And the fit is definitely relaxed. It's not one that has a ton of support in comparison to other models out there. So if you're looking for a nice, lightweight, breathable, um, sneaker that is not super snug these are definitely them and um, a lot of people thought that the ultra boost is definitely one that has similar shape but you guys got to remember that this came out i believe in 2000 so these ones actually are a legacy sneaker that nike brought back as a retro so um, nike didn't buy <laughs> buy adidas on these this is an old uh, technology but one of my favorites from back in the day and definitely a, um, a contender for the top five all right guys so the next number four spot goes to a fan favorite a lot of you guys out there have tried these shoes and have a lot of positive things to say and that is the Hirachi run these things are very very comfortable in fact if you like the Nike or the Adidas Ultra Boost this is probably the closest thing in my personal opinion that Nike has to offer it has a similar like Hirachi booty style like um, inside around the collar so it's a definitely real snug fit and the cushioning here is really really nice as well um, not quite as responsive obviously as Boost but really really comfortable these do run really snug though, so I mean you could go true to size if you have a thin or like skinny foot, but you could probably go up half a, a size as well. So size 10 would be best for me instead of a 9.5, but very, very comfortable shoe. They have tons of different patterns and, and textures and stuff that are available now. These ones are the snakeskin ones. These ones are the tech fleece ones. Really love these ones for the winter time. They're really quite warm and comfortable, but a great all-around sneaker and definitely a top five spot. So this is the number four, the Nike Hirachi. All right, guys, so number three spot goes to the Nike Roshi Run, or Roshi One, if you will, and there's the Flyknit version as well. Actually, in one day on September 1st, the Flyknit uh, Roshi Twos and the uh, Roshi Twos will be released, and I can't wait to get my hands on those. 
hopefully both pairs so I can do a review and comparison to both of these pairs of sneakers. But if you haven't tried a pair of the Roshi Runs on yet, you're, you've been sleeping. The fit is true to size, but the biggest draw to this shoe, in my opinion, is the insole of the shoe. It's so comfortable. And this was the very first pair of sneakers that I probably ever wore without socks on and felt okay about it because they're just super comfortable and um, really lightweight. And it's not obviously, I mean, Boost changed a lot of things for a lot of people, but sometimes some people don't like that cloud-like crazy cushioning of the of the shoe. These things are a lot firmer on the midsole, but um, but they're really, really comfortable nonetheless. The other thing is, is your feet feel like they're kind of just floating your toes do at least inside of the toe box area. So they're definitely not a very supportive pair, unlike something like the, the Hirachis. These are not very supportive at all. In fact, these are probably the most relaxed pair of sneakers in the top five. But if you like that relaxed after game feel or whatever it might be, um, these are definitely a great pair of sneakers for that. The Flyknit ones are a little bit more, um, uh, I don't know what the right word is. You feel like it's a little bit more substantial when your foot's in here and it's not as free flowing as the regular pair. But these ones are a little bit more expensive. You can catch a pair of Roshis now for 50 bucks or so, 60 bucks. In fact, I'll put links in the description for every one of these pairs of sneakers if you're interested in them. But the Roshi Run is a staple. It's been a staple. I think it will continue to be a staple regardless if you like the Roshi 2 or not. I personally can't wait to see how they look in person and try them on on feet. So that is the number three spot, the Roshi Run. All right, so the number two spot goes to a couple pairs of sneakers, but basically the technology that is important to note is the Lunar Lawn midsole. So Lunar Lawn and Flyknit uppers or Lunar Lawn and mesh, doesn't really matter. There's so many different versions. As you can see, I have a couple out here um, for uh, for comparative reasons and to show you guys. But this is like, what is this one? The Lunar Glide 4. This is the Lunar Glide 4 here. One of my favorites in that bolt colorway. And I have a, a couple different ones of these, but I love the midsole on these with the Lunar Lawn. And it's just really, really comfortable, very supportive. These are ones that like when I do run, which is not very often, but if I do run on the treadmill, it's, it's usually in a pair of these because they're just super uh, supportive and comfortable and snug and they feel, they just feel great on, on feet. Also, these are the pair of shoes that I would definitely rock before like, um, you know, the Ultra Boost and Pure Boost and whatnot came out. These were my go-to for the comfortable day-to-day -day -day pair of sneakers. This is the newer version that I did a review on. If you guys are interested, check my channel, but this is the Lunar Glide 8. Man, I can't believe it's four to eight. It's crazy how, how much time goes by. And then also one of my uh, ones that I love, this was probably my, actually it was my favorite, most comfortable pair of sneakers of all time before the Ultra Boost and the Pure Boost and, and whatnot. And this is a Chukka. So it's a Flyknit upper, really, really nice Flyknit upper and uh, the really, really nice Kush uh, Lunar Lawn um, midsole. One of my all time favorites and absolutely um, one of the top five most comfortable Nikes that I have in my collection. All right, so the number one shoe for myself that is the most comfortable Nike is the Nike Air Max or the Nike uh, Flyknit Max. Either one of these are just amazing pairs of sneakers. And I don't think, and I mentioned this in a previous video, maybe it was a, a, a Nike outlet shopping video. These things don't just don't get enough love. Like they are crazy comfortable. The soles are just ginormous with the air bubbles, the Nike Air and it goes all the way through to the front. They're just incredibly comfortable. And um, then you have options like this with the Flyknit Max where it's Flyknit upper and it's just super, super uh, comfortable. And then you have the other ones where it's the regular mesh stuff. Now, they're interesting because this is the Nike Air Max 2016. And then I do have um, the, the 2015s and stuff as well. But you know, they release like different ones every single year. Fundamentally, the soles are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, year after year, the only thing they do is change the uppers. And um, so really like, you know, you're going to be getting a comfortable pair of sneakers because it has that just crazy big air bubble. And if you've never tried on a pair, like you definitely need to, they're a little bit heavier than something like the Ultra Boost. But if you're looking for something that's like just max comfort and max cushioning and a substantial pair of sneakers that uh, th I always double lace the top and I'll do a video actually on how I lace my sneakers. There's two ways that I love. Um, like I always love like lace them like this and I just slip them on. They're super easy to put on and um, they're just incredibly comfortable. So I know that some people are gonna agree with me because you guys have tried maybe these on, but like these ones are some of my favorites for sure. Um, and I don't know, that's pretty much it. This is my number one uh, most comfortable pair of Nikes and they, the price points are usually quite expensive, but you can get them for really cheap. In fact, on my outlet video, you could get these ones for I think $100 or less. And these ones are $225 retail. So 
brand new technology when it came out, super expensive now. You can get them for under $150, $120. And I'll put some links in the description for you guys if you guys want to buy them. But that is my top five most comfortable pair of Nikes. If you want to see like the most comfortable, like maybe bas Nike basketball or whatever, whatever else you guys want to see, leave a comment, let me know for a top five. But thank you guys for suggesting this video. Appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll uh, we'll catch you guys for more videos soon. Peace, guys.